channel refuge tea here with my granny's closet back with another video for you guys how is everybody doing today how was your weekend you guys where did you go what did you do how much fun did you have what did you eat let me know in the comment section down below i am tired as you guys can tell i'm straining my voice i feel like my laryngitis is coming back right now but i'm gonna press on so before we get into today's video though I wanted to get into some admin stuff, so let's go ahead and do that. If you don't know, now you know. You can find me on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook, all underneath my granny's closet, 3Gs. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of the items that I do make and sell for the farmer's market, I do make and sell at my or on my Facebook page, so you can go ahead and check out the photos there and browse. Don't forget about the group page, you guys. It is under my granny's closet, 3Gs. No spaces, just yet. add the S at the end, and that is where we go to congregate and conversate about all things crafty, goodness, yarn, anything that you do that is a craft, you can go there and um, talk amongst the people. If you guys are new here, returning subscriber, thank you for joining me today. You're wonderful, you're wonderful. I really do appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Have no idea. You make me continue on to go on even when I'm not feeling well and even when the day is not going right I just have to read a comment one or two or three or all and <laughs> interacting with you guys just gives me so much joy so thank you thank you thank you for being a subscriber for joining and if you're new here <laughs> I hope you're ready for a ride a roller coaster one because I change subjects add tangents and do all of the crazy stuff um so enjoy 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 Yay. You guys, I have a new t-shirt. I got a new t-shirt and it goes really, really well with my lugs. Boom. Check that out. Woo! It is X-Men. The X-Men, that's Wolverine. There's Storm. Let's see. Let's see if I can find Beast. Let's see. Uh, there's Storm. Let's see. I can't even see it. Um... There's Beast, Cyclops. Okay, so there's a bunch of uh, X-Men here, which are mutants. So, by the way, Scarlet Witch from the Avengers is a mutant. <laughs> That's how they're trying to introduce the mutants into the Marvel, the Marvel Universe world. So, I'm excited to see that happen. Uh, especially since Quicksilver of the X-Men is Scarlet Witch's twin brother. If you guys didn't know Pietro, he is Scarlet Witch's twin brother and he is Quicksilver and he is a part of the X-Men. Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to share some things that happened up on Saturday. Now, I did have a subscriber come and visit me on Saturday and it just lifted my spirits and made me feel so cool and so blessed to know that you guys appreciate the things that I do. I am just like floored and blown away. But it, this lady, Debbie, thank you for coming down, you guys. She's so funny. She's awesome. She came in and she was just like, are you refuge? I said, yes. And I was like, wait a minute, who are you? And she was like, I'm Debbie. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Because she had messaged me separately and asked, you know, where's the location? I live somewhere around the area. I would like to come visit you. So we were able to meet. She met my mom. I met her husband. And we were talking about all things, you know, crafty and just different things about growing up and things like that. And we just had so much fun, so much camaraderie, you guys. It was just a blessing to just meet her. And Debbie, thank you for coming down and supporting me and purchasing the, the items that you did. I really do appreciate that. And it was so funny because as soon as she walked in, we introduced her. And she was like, now, is Refuge your real name or is that a nickname? I was like, no, it's my real name. <laughs> my mom walks in. She was like, no, nope, that's her real name. I was like, leave it to my mom to be all like, yeah, what of it? <laughs> So Debbie was, she was, she accepted it like full force. You know, my mom was a mama bear, but my mom was just like, yeah, no, I, I named her, you know, her first name in English is refuge, but in Spanish, it's something different. So it was just really cool to, to talk to her. And then another revelation that she had was like, oh man, you really are small. 
I was like, yep, 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 I am, I am. I'm shorter than your average bear, but <laughs> I may be small, but I am mighty. So it was so fun to interact with her. And I'm just like, well, if all the subscribers that I talk to in the comment section down below is this amazing, which everything that you guys say leads me to believe that. I am just one blessed person to have you guys <laughs> in my corner watching and supporting. Thank you so much. The next thing that happened on Saturday, now you guys, I did not um, take pictures of this incident that happened. <laughs> oh. So what ended up happening is that it's 10 minutes before the uh, market is about to close. My key fob area, like where we switched things up to try and make it to where we can close our area off. And it worked out. I didn't take any pictures. Um, but I will next week. Actually, the only picture I think I took was just me and Debbie doing a, you know, selfie or actually her husband took the picture of us. I did wear, um, a tank top on Saturday and I wore my trucker hat that Andre gave me. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody loved it. Complimented. This is it. So I was just like, at the end of the day, I was really tired because I wore the tank top. My shoulders were burning even more. And you guys know that in my Friday video, I mentioned that my shoulders got burned at the pool and being at the market, even though I closed off the area for like when, um, the, the walls, I put the walls up. Okay. <laughs> How is that hard for me to say? <laughs> I put the walls up and I blocked out the sun for me and my mom. However, it was just still, you could still feel it. And it was just like, ah, so now I have, you know how you feel the stretch and pull of a sunburn. I don't normally wear tank tops or expose like this part of my arms. I don't know why. I just like to be, um, clothed. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. So I was just like feeling the burn. I was like, dang it. Yes, that's going to feel great when I wake up the next morning. And sure enough, I did go outside today and I did feel a little bit of that. Even though you're wearing a long sleeves and black attracts the sun. So you feel so much more hotter. And I was outside taking photos of the ponchos and the granny square triangle shawls so that I could post them on my Facebook and Instagram this week. But what ended up happening... 10 minutes before the market closed, let me get back to that, sorry guys, is my key fobs, the, 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 let's see, the clothing rack that my key fobs hang on, the wind was picking up so bad by 12, 1230 that it just like crashed down. And I was like, oh no, a couple of the hooks snapped off, all the key fobs, except for maybe like a handful stayed hooked onto the boards and so my mom was just like what happened because she was by her car talking to our next door neighbor booth person Norma and I was just like it's okay it's fine everybody's like what happened I was like it's all right you know board down board down so <laughs> I just you know my mom grabbed a, one of her little baskets and I just started giving them to her and she was putting them in there we cleaned it up I stood it back up. Now attached to that was the aprons and my Kelpie vest. So I'll show you a picture. Like I didn't take a picture of wet when it goes down. I didn't take a picture of the mess because uh, that wasn't like the first thing on my mind. You know, afterwards I was like, oh, maybe I could have taken a picture to show you guys, you know, example of things going wrong. But that wasn't my priority. Like that wasn't, that's not something that occurred to me to try and do. For you guys but next time I will try to remember <laughs> first thing was just like okay nobody's in the booth nobody got hurt okay let's clean up the mess but I did take a picture of just my empty rack for you guys after the thought you know when I thought about oh taking pictures now let's take a picture so um but what ended up happening was I picked it back up I put the aprons and the kelpie vest back on I got all of the key fobs cleaned up and then I picked up my boards and as I was walking away a family walked in, a, a mom and her children walked in and I put the boards down and I turn around to go see her walk in and greet her and be like, Hey, how's it going? How's your day going? You know, is there anything I can help you with? I saw 
the rack starting to fall again and her daughter was standing there. Now, her daughter was taller than me, but she was a little, little girl. And I was just like, watch out, move, move, move. So I went booking it to try and like save her life. I was like, not today. That is not happening. No injuries in my booth. <laughs> so I jumped over a, cause we had all of our stuff out. Cause at that point I was just like, you know what, mom, the wind's picking up too much. I'm going to break down. She's like, yeah, okay. And people were already breaking down by like 12, 15 ish. And this was like maybe 12, 20. So they had our, people had already started breaking down because the wind was just taking everybody's stuff at this point. And so, I mean, them Santa Ana winds in Southern California ain't a joke, folks. It ain't a joke. So, um, I had my bins hanging out on the floor and organized in a way where I, you know, clean things up. And then I was just like, <laughs> I jumped over one of the bins, landed like solidly on my left ankle. Now it didn't hurt my ankle, surprisingly, which is hilarious my knee popped and then the shockwave from that went into my back so now my back is killing me and i woke up with really bad back pain yesterday and today so i'm trying to take it easy um also my sister's best friend came and visited us so i was just like yay i was here and her and her daughter came in talked to us for a little bit while we we're breaking down she was like come on she was the one that introduced me to farmers markets she was my papa mama so um, she signed me up to paparazzi and then um, she started selling at a farmer's market with her paparazzi. So she was like, come bring your crochet stuff. So Eva was the one that like introduced me to farmer's markets and do all that stuff. So she came and she knew how I would tear things down because she's helped me prior before. And um, so she was like, okay, what do you want to do? I was like, what do you remember <laughs> to help me? I go here. I gave her an empty bin. I was just like, just get all the beanies and shove them in there. Because <laughs> at this point, it was like a race to the finish line because it, the I took I tried to take as many boards down as I can because the, the wind was just shifting and lifting my canopy. and It was just really bad. So you have to take into consideration the elements. Make sure you check the weather report before you go out to your events and make sure that you have the proper equipment to secure everything that you're going to have in your booth. Um, my first priority after taking down all of the boards was to take down my glass jars. And because they're glass and they sit on a top shelf in a wooden um, shelving display, I was like, okay, I grab an empty bin. I started filling them up and it worked out that Eva came and her and her daughter helped us take everything down. And her daughter was just like, what is this? I was like, oh, you can have one. It's a fidget. She was like, really? I said, yeah, you're helping me. So she got a free fidget out of it. She was all excited. So I was happy to be able to get the help and to be able to bless them with something, you know, for, as a thank you. But me and my mom were out of there in less than an hour with their help. And we were just like in record time. But, you know, it was so... <laughs> me and my mom were kind of just standing there after Eva left. And I was just like, mom, I don't know what to do. She was like, I know, me neither. We're just standing there going like this. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Because... Eva helped us so much and put so much away. Like, she did it the right way. She knows how we are. <laughs> but it kind of threw my mom off balance, and we're just like, I don't know what to do. Like, where should I start? Even though half of everything was already put away. <laughs> it was so funny. But, all right, guys, so let's get into today's video. I have so much stuff that I want to get show you guys that I want to get done this week. I guess I should, like, before I started the video, I was just like, maybe I should have written things down for a list because looking at everything on my table right now it's not as overwhelming as it was last week when I showed you so basically everything that I didn't do last week is going to get done this week now first off I do have an order now I did get an order over the weekend that I did get the fabric for and I completed now I don't want to say what it is I don't want to say what kind of um pattern it is or anything like that because the person that this is gifted for does watch my channel so I don't want to give anything away and they're not going to know who it is so I did complete the order I did package it already and it is ready to ship out I do have another order for a wild oleander hooded scarf 
their request is for it to be in Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn in Parcel and Bow. I only have one more skein left of this. So my husband, because if you guys haven't noticed, uh, my voice is sort of going out on me right now. And I've not been feeling good since yesterday morning. I've been really quiet. <laughs> my husband noticed because I and I did record some of my um, Sunday for you guys again. Uh, and my face is not an angry face or a resting crochet face. It is just like blank shut down. That's how I get when I'm not feeling good. If I don't have to talk, I don't have to say anything, then my face is just like... I know it looks like really mean, but <laughs> that's my face when I'm, you know, but as you can tell, my voice is kind of funky. So, um, my husband was like, just stay home, rest, relax today, try to get, you know, so it doesn't like really hit you. And I said, okay. So I have to send him pictures of this one so he could stop up at Hobby Lobby and go get me at least four more skeins of this. Next up is... I do have a wild oleander hooded scarf that you guys have seen that I really need to finish. So I only have like maybe 10 more rows to go and then add the tassels to this and it's done. So I, I'm going to do this one after I start and finish on that wild oleander hooded scarf for the order. And then, um, I can finish this another time, but what I plan on doing is little by little of each thing. So I want to do this for an hour, this for an hour, this for an hour. That way I can like every day during the week, I feel like I have progress and I'm moving forward. Next up, I wasn't able to get my business cards and my stickers this Saturday or the, yeah, this Saturday because my sister went out of town. However, it worked out beautifully because my darn charms didn't come until Sunday. I was like, you said they would be here by Friday and they came on Sunday. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> you know, so I was just like, whatever, dude. All right. So I ended up getting the charms on Sunday. My daughter and I went ahead and yesterday sat on the bed spread out all the charms and we just picked two and put them inside my little mylar uh, resealable thank you bags that I got from Amazon. If you guys are interested in these, I will post them in the link down below. Also, my organza bags came with the charms yesterday. I only had maybe a handful of these left and I really, really needed them for Saturday, but I ended up finding maybe about five more here at my home and I was like okay I can use those if people aren't buying the small things and they're getting big things that's a good thing right <laughs> so I ended up did using all of the ones that I have and I just found one just chilling right there and I was like where were you when I needed you on Saturday where <laughs> so um, I put these in the bin already that I use for all of my bags that I put people's purchases in. So that is one item off the list. Now on next Saturday, next market, um, all I have to do is just put my business cards in here. I'm actually going to get those rainbow watercolor thank you stickers because you guys, the poll was... Don't make any more things for yourself to do. <laughs> Just purchase them. And the reason why I make the stickers and make certain things myself, because sometimes if I have the equipment to make it, it doesn't make sense for me, in my mind, to purchase it already made. Like in my head, it's just like, it's easier for you. It's less work for you. But would you rather spend the money doing that or would you rather do it for free at home? I mean, it's not for free. You know, the paper, the ink, the internet, it costs money for you to do all of this stuff. But, you know, I already have it. So in my head, my mindset, <laughs> it's like, let's just make it ourselves. But I do have these 
and I am going to purchase the new ones that have the watercolor rainbow heart because my business cards are going to have some rainbow clusters of yarn balls on them. Next up, you guys, I have my keychain lip balm holders that I desperately, desperately, desperately need to fill in some colors that I ran out of. So I'm all out of my purples, all out of all my shades of pink. And when I was putting everything on my board this Saturday, I was like, ah, oh, this is what I should have been working on last week because, okay, so let me post a picture right here for you guys. You can see all the keychains on that third row are just filled inventory spots where the keychain colors are missing. So I'm out of, I want to say six different colors and I didn't realize it because I've been so busy and preoccupied in my head that I was just like, what were you not thinking about this week? Like you should have gotten those done. They should have been a priority for you. And I did have people asking for certain colors and I was like, I'm so sorry, but I did get purchases and that's what this, why these are all gone um, because I used them for the keychain, key or keychain lip balm holders. I need to find a new name for that. KLH? No, I don't want to use an acronym. <laughs> so I really need to get that done as soon as I finish my orders. I'm going to start on my keychain lip balm holders and get those orders filled. Next up, I do have all of my project bags that I need to cut. I did cut these out. Didn't get to them. Didn't get to them yesterday. Um, but I have this stack of fabric. I still need to find the bumblebee one. I'm not sure I have any left of that. But I, for some reason, cannot find the bumblebee fabric for one of the project bags. And then I'll, I'll post a picture right here. I just can't find it. I don't know why I can't find it. What is up with me, you guys? Uh, I think I just need to clean my room. Tell me. Would that, would you guys be interested in watching me like clean my, I have a shelf downstairs that in the garage that I need to paint. So sometime this week, if, I always pick up a summer project like that. I always find furniture on the side of the road. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's gonna be perfect for my room. Let's grab it. My husband will bring it home. He'll clean it off for me. And then I'll pick out the paint. Now I've picked out the paint for quite some time. I have it. Uh, I just haven't painted my shelf. And I really, really need to because that's the shelf that I'm going to be putting all of my works in project progress on and more of my memorabilia. And I desperately need that in my room. <laughs> and then I need to purchase more nine um, cubed shelves, like the nine square cubicle shelves. And I need about three of them. So I need to put them over there because I need, I think I need four. Probably four. Because I need to have a shipping station. So everything that my you know, mailers go in every, like my sticky paper that I use for my shipping labels and things like that. So, and everything that I do use for shipping, I need a shipping station. Right now, the one that I have, my daughter is using for her, her craft section. So <laughs> I'm like, awesome. <laughs> I just lost my whole shipping section, which works out because it's plastic and it's not really durable. So I'm just going to let my daughter play with it for right now. Okay, back on subject. I need to find the fabric for that bumblebee one and then I will not have to worry about it anymore because you know how you're missing something but you used to have everything else and you can do them. You can do it, but then that in the back, like always on your mind is the item that you're missing that you really need to, like you really want to get done. Yep, that's me right now. So I'm gonna find time to cut these and then sew all day for my project bags. 
All right, next up, um, lanyards and key fobs. My mom found these really cool Converse style shoes on this fabric when she went to Joann's one day and I was like, you went without me? But she was on her way home from a doctor's appointment. So I was just like, I'll let it slide, mom. But <laughs> so she was like, may I do some key fobs out of this? And I was like, all right, we'll do it. Next up is to iron the trifolds of the lanyards and the trifolds of the key fobs. Because once I do the ironing, the sewing takes no time at all. So, so I'm going to dedicate one whole day to just ironing these in the morning. And then the next day I will dedicate part of that morning to sew them. Like I said, I'm trying to time manage every one of my projects. So if I write it down and I give myself a time frame, like, okay, give yourself an hour for this one. Stop. Give yourself, cause that's how I clean my house <laughs> because I am ADHD. It works for me so that I don't get so bored with one thing or I'm not in so much pain. Like this morning I woke up with extreme back pain. I'm not feeling too hot right now. And I just want to rest. So having an order is perfect because I can just chill like my husband wants me to. And I don't have to sew, sew, sew or stand up and iron. So order first. And then I'm going to make a list of the things that I need to get done. And then time management and a schedule for me throughout the week. So key fobs, lanyards, check. So before I started making all the ponchos that I made, well, there's only four of them. Um, I was working on this because I wanted to see how it would look um, on a scale for like on a smaller scale for my daughter. And that way I can make small ones for her because originally I just wanted to make one for her. But I liked it so much that I started to make the bigger ones. So I made it out of Yarn Bee or Hobby Lobby's Yarn Bee Sugar Wood Cotton Sparkle. And I can't remember the name of it. I'm sorry. I lost a yarn ball. I'll look it up and then I'll post it for you guys down here. But I'm so sad because they don't really have this colorway anymore. A lot of the things that they don't like Rainbow Rhapsody and these cotton sugar wheel cottons solids are still there, but only the solids are there. They don't have really a lot of the other um, cakes that they had there. So I don't know if they're still putting things out on the shelf because I didn't see them the last couple times that I went to Hobby Lobby and I was looking for them specifically, the Rainbow Wrap City ones, and they didn't have them there. Now, I don't think they even have the Sugar Wheel Cotton. I'll have to go back and look, but if you guys know where I can get more or if anybody has any that I can buy off them, let me know because I want to get more of this. Now, this one, I only had enough to make two squares. So there is 335 yards in this one, but it's the same weight, the same specs for both of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two white squares and then two rainbow squares, or I think I have a pink. I do have a pink in here. I might do a pink because she loves the color pink and she likes the light baby pink. That's her favorite color. So I'm going to ask her and see what she wants to do. It's not really surprised she's seen me work on it. She just doesn't know it's for her. <laughs> so you guys know that I didn't get to these last week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carve out some time to do these. Keychain fidget. I said that backwards. So I'm going to find time to do the fidget keychains? Yeah. <laughs> They're not a huge priority for me right now because I do have a lot on display and I am selling them, but I do need to get more of a color variety out there. Last on my list for things to do this week are my stitch markers. <laughs> now I'm just like, uh, okay, let me do them. Um, I do have the animals and everything that I need to get done and the bees and the, the lettering and the numbers. 
Uh, so that is pretty much it that I, the list of things that I need to get done this week. And I wanted to share that with you guys again, because I know I showed it to you on Wednesday, but things have turned around. I have less to do because I don't no longer have to cut any of the fabric. Um, well, except for the project bay fabric. I am working on a secret project that I'm not going to show you guys till the end of the week because I almost finished it last night. It didn't get done, but I almost finished it. It is my night project that I've been working on. Um, I worked on it all day yesterday. I tend to do that. I tend to work on um, me projects or projects that I just want to try out at night while I'm, you know sitting with my daughter trying to get her to go to sleep. So I'm trying to keep it a secret because I'm excited about this project. It is a new added on to my fantasy wearable line. So excited. Lastly, I do have those notions pouches that I do need to uh, sew and finish up. And I think on the day where I'm sewing project bags, I will, because they're all sewn up. Half of them are already sewn to, or they're all cut up, not sewn up, but half of them are already attached to the zipper. Like I sewed them to the zipper. So I just got to keep the momentum going and get that done and out there. Whew. It may seem like a lot. And I know I added a couple of things to my plate. <laughs> my first priority is my Wild Oleander Hooded Scarf Order. And then the Lip Balm Keychain Holders. That way I can get those out and put there. And I'm like, man, I'm still baffled. How did I miss that? <laughs> and then, like, I keep saying that the stitch markers are so easy to get out of the way. But I haven't done them. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that notification bell. Click on the all and it'll notify you when I drop another video. You guys have a blessed rest of your Monday, a blessed rest of your week, and a happy 4th of July. I will see you guys next time. Peace out. How was your weekend? What did you go? What did you do? What kind of... <laughs> All right, folks, let's get... Blah, blah, blah. All right, folks, let's get in... Like, why do we keep messing that up? You guys know why we say horsey corn, so... But for those that are new here... <gasps> and then my key fobs. My key fobs. Why do I keep saying key fobs? Not key fobs. I need to find a new name for that. <laughs>